Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevDactic with a video tutorial on real iOS push notifications with the Ionic IO push service. So for this example, I have a simple starting template which you can find on my blog post to this video. And if you want, you can start with that. I recommend that because that will make things a lot easier. I already had a post on Easy Ionic push notifications some weeks ago and those were just development push notifications. So this time we want to send out real iOS push notifications. They will be in a sandbox modus but there's no problem to change them to real push notifications later on. All right. So I already started my install script which I put into this directory so you can just call the init script and this will install all the files, the services, the Cordova plugins and everything you need for this tutorial. And hopefully this will finish very soon. Okay, let's take a look at how our app currently looks. We got two buttons to identify our user and to register for push notifications. And we also got a tiny controller doing some things. So those things you can find in the last tutorial. I won't cover that now. The thing we must change right now is the app ID and the API key. And for this, we need to upload our app to the Ionic IO service, so called Ionic Upload, and this will create a new app in your Ionic IO dashboard, which is currently empty. So we wait, and once this is done, you should get an app ID here and also an app in your account. All right, this is our app ID which should be the same, yes, like here. And paste this one to your app ID. Second step, go to your app settings, keys, and copy the public API key. Paste it here, and we're fine. Currently we have development pushes on, so let's give it a try. We call Ionic Surf. Okay. Sorry. And this is our app. We can identify and we can register for push. So this is our key. It's also here locked. Okay, now let's test the push. This is only development push, not the final iOS one, so call ionic push minus s in the directory and you will be asked for your API private key, which is this one, and also the device token, which is the one we just locked here. Okay, copy that one, paste it. Alert message, hello. This is a devdactic alert. Whatever, batch count, we don't need this right now. Successfully queued the push. And here it is, here's our alert message. So in general, this is how development push notifications work. It's not that hard, but you should have your app up until this point. So you should be able to send some development push notifications. And now the real fun begins. I'm a bit sorry for the steps, but I also linked to this one in my tutorial on the blog. So there's a document from the Ionic team which guides you through all of the steps. So if anything is unclear after this video, just go there and check it out again. So we need to create some certificates, IDs, and yeah, 
a lot of things Apple wants to have. So let's start and go to your keychain and from the top select keychain certificate create oh no request a certificate from a certificate authority enter your mail and select save to disk yeah whatever okay now you obviously need to be in the iOS developer program so go inside your area select app IDs and create a new app ID I will call it devdectic push and okay this one will be com dot devdectic dot uh, def tactic push and also make sure you select push notifications from down there okay submit we're fine so somewhere yes here it is now go to edit go down go down until this area so here we can create a certificate for the development push and for the production in this tutorial I will just make a development certificate so if you want to use the service in a production app you obviously also or just have to use the second option so this dialog asks for the file we just created so select it alright once you've selected it click generate and this is your Apple push services certificate so once you've installed it go back to your keychain and you should find some development push certificate here alright right click it and export it and save it as a p12 file somewhere where you can find it the wizard will ask for a password so please don't enter a password for the file but afterwards you will have to pass your admin password so make sure no password on the file but enter your admin password all right we've set up those things last thing we need to do is create a provisioning profile so select the iOS development select the one you just created which is this one in my example select the certificates yeah who's included and which devices and call it whatever you like yes and generate download and also install that profile Alright, those were the steps to create all the profiles and things we need, hopefully. Now let's go back to our app. We need to make some minor changes. So one thing we need to do is obviously we don't want to enable dev pushes anymore. Also one of the most important steps is go to your config. Oh, sorry. Go to your config and change this ID to whatever your app ID was. So in my example it was comdevdactic devdactic push, I guess. Is this true? Uh, comdevdactic devdactic push. Yeah, that should be this one. Alright. Now I have not added the platform by now so ionic platform iOS and once this is done we call ionic build iOS I'm not sure if this already happened at the step before but well just do it it doesn't take that long okay hold on we're just a few steps away from sending our push now 
we need to call the ionic push service and pass them our development push certificate. So call ionic push iOS minus dev cert and insert. Oh, come on. No code completion. I guess it was this one. Certificates. Yes, hopefully. Okay, invalid. Uh, okay, yeah. Obviously, it's not this, but this file. Okay, successfully uploaded the certificate. Perfect. The last step we need to do now is again call the Ionic push service and tell them the production mode is development. So N is for iOS sandbox push notifications. This would be production notifications, but we just want the development push notifications right now. Okay, so I launched the Xcode project and inside you should see your bundle identifier right here. There's one more thing I have to insert because I'm using iOS 9 on my device. I have to copy this part. So if you encounter problems at this step, some NSURL connection problems, insert those things or just ask me for the lines, but you will find them, I'm quite sure, on Google, like the first result. Okay, so if I launch the application now on my device, you can obviously not see it, but there's nothing special happening. So again, you can take a look at the console. I click identify user and I click register for push and I get some error. All right, so there are some minor issues, but I'm not sure. I just removed the project, the iOS platform and edit it again and call npm install. I don't know, there are some problems with Xcode 7 or iOS 9, I'm not sure. So again, maybe you need to insert this key if you get NS URL problems. Anyway, I launched the app, I clicked identify, I registered myself and I got a token. Okay, so this is good news for now. Now go back to your dashboard and right now where before has been a video, there is now a new tab for Ionic Push. So click new push and you can compose your push. So this is a push. My message. And this would be appear right here. You would have the option to insert stuff like this once your user is identified. But for now, or in general, I leave this because I had some problems here. But well, let's see what you can select. At this point, you can select who should get your push notifications. So based on device name, user ID, whatever settings you might have assigned to your user. But what I want you to show is if I got nothing selected and click search, I find this user. So my name, I'm awesome. And if we go back to our code, that's exactly the user we created in our app. So obviously in your production app, you would insert some real name here, maybe from a login or whatever or maybe you don't even have that much information about your user. But in general, you have our app ID, at which date it was created, the device, and stuff like that. So I tried to match this user, but for me somehow this was not working. Even though I enable it right now and clicked on live, but I did not get a notification on my device. I'm not completely sure why this is or what's the exact problem here. I read that some other people had problems or that it took a very long time for the first push. Or maybe I can just try it. Second push test. 
but I don't think this will work right now. So this should again match the user. I want to enable it and still I do not get any push notification on my device right now, although you do not see it. But there's the option right here once you've created something with a new push. It's called one-time notification and this is the spot okay I obviously got the wrong uh, okay here it is this is the spot where you can take your token from your iOS app and paste it and push a message saying something like this is, is a test message you can also show your request here but if you click send now you should see this message ID and I can see on my device there's the push coming up and if you check this below you will see successfully send and everything worked as expected so this is currently the fallback to iOS push notifications I will tell you if one of those will get sent out but I don't think and I'm a bit lost because I don't know why they are not sent so if there's some kind of magic I do not understand please let me know I would really love to use this service but I just can't get it working maybe last try if I pass a name equal to my name as enable your new messages have it sent for all immediately yes well <laughs> I want to enable it but I'm not getting oh come on wow I just got the message on my device so maybe the filter is the problem interesting okay I take everything back I just said and ionic push is really great no sorry if you've come this far just try around it somehow seems to work although I'm not sure why it wasn't working in the first place maybe you have to select any filters there or it won't work okay so on my blog you can also see an image of my iOS device I won't power it up here in the video right now because it's just well you know one push notification on the screen and nothing special if you want an image go to my blog you will find it there all right I hope you enjoyed this video you got the ionic push service running in your app and if you encounter any problems let me know on Twitter or whatever on my blog in the comment section and yeah thanks for listening I hope you liked it join the devtactic channel for more great tutorials and see you next time